Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. This video is all about the setting and special modes for a spiralized outer contour. So this is otherwise known as a base mode. And what it does is basically just prints a one perimeter thick outer shell of your model. And you can see here that let me go in and turn this raft off real quick. because we don't need to slice that. We'll hit none there and we'll close that up. So we have spiralized mode off. We'll slice the model real quick and I will show you that it's printing the infill in the interior and using all the other settings that we have entered and inputted. And you can see that the infill is there. Now watch what happens when I click spiralize outer contour and slice again. You can see that there is no longer any infill in the middle. It is a empty model, a one perimeter thick, as I said, shell of the object. It's not printing any top surfaces. It's not printing any bottom surfaces. It does print the bottom surface uh, because it is using the perimeters for the initial layers. After that, it no longer prints anything horizontal uh, as far as finishing layers, but it will print small horizontal details such as this right here. Uh, because it is able to travel in one path. And this is basically, if you follow the head, one long print path. Uh, it doesn't lift or retract at all. It basically just goes around in a circle following the pattern that it's supposed to follow. This is how you get really nice vase prints. Uh, 0.4 millimeter nozzle will give you a decent vase. The larger the nozzle, and make sure to adjust that setting, the larger the nozzle, the thicker the wall of your vase and the more structurally sound it is. So anywhere from a 0.6 to a one millimeter nozzle will give you an excellent vase that will actually hold water and those flowers that you got for Valentine's Day or anything else that you wanna put in it. They are a really, really fun thing to work with. I make vases all the time because they are cute. My daughter loves them and it is very, very fast. I printed a 410 millimeter tall vase in vase mode in probably, I think it was about three hours and 20 minutes on the Ender 3 after I extended the height. So uh, really, really fast. And if you increase the nozzle width, it can go even faster and make you a stronger and even better model. So there's that to keep in mind as well. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.